Hey everybody, it's Brad. In this video we're going to do a little bit more advanced uh, lettering. Um, what we're going to be dealing with in this video is the true type font lettering. Um, and this is something that's new to the latest update. So if you don't have the latest update to the program, you're going to want to download it. Um, and uh, it's easy to do that. I'm just going to hit create new design here. Once you're in the program, if you go to help, check for updates, you need to be connected to the internet. Uh, but if you do need an update, it will uh, automatically download the latest update for you. So that's how you do that. Um, now, uh, what we're going to be dealing with is true type fonts, like I said. And you could already bring in true type fonts in this before this update. You just went to File, Import TT Text, and it would import some lettering in whatever font you chose. The problem with this is I have no way of adjusting these things relative to one another so like if I want to put them on a circle it's really really difficult I'd have to adjust each one just perfectly and it would take forever to do this I mean look at this it's not even perfect and it's tedious like I've got them on this crazy curve here it just doesn't even that's not a circle, you know. So it's hard. It's really hard to do it this way. Um, and sure, I can take these and convert them to a satin stitch, and I get some letters. Um, but it's really hard to get them all lined up. So the way that you can do it now, after this latest update, is you use the text tool to do this. You click the big capital T here in the upper left corner. Left click anywhere, uh, and you just go in, type in what you want to say. I'm going to stick with my old standby, oops, meadow, uh, here, uh, I'm going to, oh, no, here, I'm going to go under type, change the type to true type, and now I have access to all of these, the fonts on my computer, they're all called true type fonts, and look at all these, there's a ton of them. Now, they don't, they're not all going to work. The real, real fancy ones, it takes a lot of work to get them to sew out, but most of these, even you know the relatively fancy ones, script fonts, um, will work with this. So I'll just go in and pick one here, um, and hit apply. And here, this was one I can tell is not going to work. See how the letters are overlapped like this? I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, not not in have. Well, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I just need to adjust my spacing is all. Yeah. Just adjust the spacing so they're not, like, running into each other. And this actually probably will work. So, you see why this is more advanced. There's there's more work to be done here. I'm just adjusting the spacing with these little triangle things here. Um, and that's what you can do with this, is you actually are able to adjust things like the spacing. I'm going to pick a different font just to be sure that it's going to work here for my, my little demo, but... You know, you're always going to have a little bit more work to do because this isn't even stitches at this point. This is still just artwork. We still have to apply the stitch type to it. But if I want to put this on a circle or something, look at this. True type, circle, apply. I can adjust this just the same way that I could before um, when I when you watch my last the basic text video. Now, the important thing, though, when you're dealing with true type fonts in this is you cannot go back and edit your spacing and the size of the circle and all of that once you turn it into stitches. Once you turn it into, into stitches, it's no longer a font as far as this program is concerned. So you don't get to, you know, rotate a single letter and, and still have the spacing be, be adjustable and all that. Um, it's It's, you do it right now or you don't do it anymore. Um, and that's just kind of how it works. So uh, once you're satisfied with the placement of your letters, that's when you're going to convert them into the, the satin stitch. Um, so uh, the way you do it is you have to choose your select tool here, and then right click on the letters, choose convert to satin, and boom, there's my letters. And it does a really an impressive job of digitizing these letters automatically, I think. I mean, you know, nothing's going to be as good as a um, like a, a human digitizer doing it, but as far as auto digitized true type fonts go, these look great. Um, most of the ones I've tried look pretty great. So 
so that's nice. Um, now, you also have the option uh, of converting them. Let me just undo that. You have the option of converting them into a complex fill, and I only recommend doing that if you are um, doing really big letters. Uh, a satin stitch letter looks nice. So pretty much anything you're going to put on like a shirt or something that size, just leave it a satin. Now, if you're making one giant letter, you know, to fill up the entire area of the hoop, you're going to want to do it as a complex fill. But for the most part, you right-click, convert it to satin, and it's going to make a nice-looking uh, nice looking little bit of lettering for you. So that's a good way to expand your arsenal uh, of fonts that you can use with this program. So um, that's that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.